It is time to bring it on with your questions, and we've got some good ones today. Bobby writes in, I am a spiritual person, but not religious. I believe in God, but I just don't believe in religion. I read the Bible and pray and help others. I don't go to church, though. I don't feel comfortable. Is church a must to go to heaven? I just feel like I don't belong, and I've gone to several different types of churches. Uh, Bobby, you're joining a large number of Americans who are, are leaving church, and it's a sort of a puzzle to me. Um, to just directly answer, is it necessary to go to church to go to heaven? The answer is no, it's not. You, church is not a precondition for heaven. Uh, the precondition for heaven is all who believe in their hearts that, that Jesus is the Messiah and then confess with their mouths shall be saved. Uh, there's another verse, all who call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, so it, it, salvation is through Christ and through Christ alone. Uh, but to you know, walk a Christian walk, there's an admonition in the book of Hebrews in the 10th chapter that you don't forsake the fellowship. You don't forsake fellowshipping with other believers. Um, you know, this whole phrase you used, I'm spiritual but I'm not religious, seems to have uh, a lot of currency in our culture today, as if somehow being religious is bad. We need to recognize Jesus was remarkably religious. He went to temple. He was circumcised on the eighth day. He went through a bar mitzvah at age 12 and was presented uh, for his Torah knowledge at the temple. He observed the Sabbath. He went to all the Jewish festivals. If there wasn't that organized religion, then there wouldn't be proof that he's the Messiah because he fulfilled every prophecy that the Messiah was given about the Messiah, and he filled the Torah to the letter of the law. He did all of these things. So uh, we need to keep that in mind. Uh, church is not a bad place. Church is a wonderful place where you have fellowship with other believers. All right, Jackie writes in, my fiance feels tongues should not be spoken even in personal praise and worship when you're, when you're in church unless someone interprets. I disagree and say that, it, that it's a personal dialogue between the person's spirit and God's spirit and doesn't need to be interpreted. What do you think, Gordon? Uh, the Apostle Paul thinks is, is much better. <laughs> um, you know, it, that admonition of don't speak words in tongues unless there's an interpretation has to do with there are unbelievers in your midst. And so if there are unbelievers in your midst, they're going to think you're crazy unless there's some interpretation. Uh, but when there's an interpretation and there's prophecy, it's going to cut to their hearts and they're going to give God glory for what he's doing in your midst. The Apostle Paul also says that tongues is the way you edify yourself. You build yourself up in the Holy Spirit. And he claimed, I speak in tongues more than all of you. So in private prayer, in, in group prayer, where you're just praying in tongues, by all means, do it.